Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Chromebooks.Support. My name is James. Today we're going to talk about uh, file transfer uh, and file sharing between a Chromebook and a mobile device. Um, so if you're on the website Chromebooks.Support, uh, previously ChromebookHelp.info, uh, go ahead and click on over to the file transfer tab and you'll be presented with a whole bunch of information. I'm going to try to break this down the best that I can. Um, I'm going to start by talking about just general file transfer. Um, there's sort of two main um, methods of, of transferring files between devices. Um, those are USB mass storage um, and something called MTP, Media Transfer Protocol. Um, so USB mass storage, that would be like a thumb drive or a, an external hard drive, those kind of things. Android phones used to support USB mass storage, but they recently, recently as in like a few years ago, I think, um, switched over to MTP for their uh, file sharing protocol. So Chrome OS supports USB mass storage. So um, if you were to plug in a USB thumb drive or an external hard drive, um, it would operate as you would expect it to on a Windows machine or Mac machine. I'll just go ahead and show you uh, what it looks like. I'm gonna plug in my external hard drive. It's just a little little uh, Western Digital guy here. Um, let's get this turned around correctly. There we go. Now you should see here in a couple seconds, once this thing gets spinning at full speed, there we go. Removable device detected. Open files app. Um, similar to Windows, you know, machine. You get a little pop-up when something gets plugged in. Um, so here is here it is over here um, in the files app you'll always see google drive and downloads um, and then under here is for your external um, things so you can see here the external hard drive is called my passport there's a little eject button here that you want to click on before you try removing it so you can hop over to downloads um, back over to your external hard drive you can drag and drop files here's a picture of my in-laws cat i can bring that over here to my downloads folder, just drop it there. Um, easy peasy, right? So um, that's USB mass storage. Um, the Chromebook will allow you to move files to and from USB uh, storage devices. Um, now, as far as uh, media transfer protocol goes, um, Chrome OS, Chromebooks sort of support that. Um, they support it in one direction. Um, let me make sure I get this right. It supports moving files from your phone to the Chromebook. So if you plug your phone into your Chromebook um, with the correct cable, of course, that came with the phone, um, you should see it pop up just like my external hard drive did. Um, it'll pop up right over here on the left and you'll be able to move files from the phone to your Chromebook. You will not be able to move files from the Chromebook to the phone. So um, I can only assume they're working on that. It wasn't that long ago um, where you couldn't do anything with your phone uh, plugged directly into your Chromebook. Um, so not too long ago, they, um, they included support for moving files from the phone to the Chromebook. Hopefully soon, we will also be able to move files from the Chromebook to the phone. Um, but uh, so that's as far as plugging in a cable goes um, that's about all there is to say about transferring files uh, with a cable now there are several other ways of getting a file from your chromebook to your phone and vice versa um, and i'm going to go over some of those um, as far as just norm file transfer nothing special nothing specific not music or movies just any kind of file you want to get it from your phone to your Chromebook or vice versa. There's a couple um, apps that work great for that. Um, the one that uh, the ones that I use the most are Google Drive and Pushbullet. Um, AirDroid is popular, uh, but as far as I know, it's only available for Android phones. Um, so, but you definitely check that out. Pushbullet, um, I use it a lot. There is an iPhone app for it, so if you have an iPhone. Um, definitely want to want to check out push bullet even if you don't check it out it's a really great um, 
great uh, app. I'll just kind of give you a quick little demonstration. I'm going to have to re-enable the, the extension because I disabled everything recently. Push bullet, enable. So, see if it's going to make me sign in. Nope. So what I would do, let's say I'm on a website, and uh, I just want to share this website to my phone. Um, you could come over here, hit push. Uh, you can do notes, links, or files. So it automatically detects the website you're on and plugs it in right there. So that's kind of neat. Um, I can share this to my phone real quick. Kind of removes the need for things like Chrome to phone, which I think Google's getting rid of anyways, um, or going into your settings and recent tabs and other devices and seeing the tab that you were on on that other device. This is just a really quick way to share um, a website between your phone and your uh, Chromebook. And I'm going to make sure that I have the app on my phone. I believe I do. Yep. Okay. So if I go ahead and hit push it, you probably heard that. I got a notification on my phone. And when I touch the notification, it's really nice. It just takes me right to the link that I was sharing with myself. I don't have to, it doesn't open push bullet and then I have to select another thing. It just, when I tap the notification, it takes me right to the website. So that's pretty handy. Um, and as you can see, there are also options to send just a little note to yourself or a file. Um, you know, click here, it brings a little pop-up thing, click there and, and uh, select your file and it will send it to your phone. And you can do it from your phone to the computer as well. Um, and you'll get a little, if you do that, you'll just get a little pop-up similar to what we had on the phone. So really, really neat app, Push Bullet. It works really well. They have a lot of other features that I haven't really tried out a whole lot. Um, you can apparently text people with it. Um, so I could I, right now text my wife, you know, hey, and she would she would get it on as long as my phone is on and connected to, you know, data or Wi-Fi. Um, Push Bullet will communicate with my phone and send a text to my wife. So um, that's pretty cool. And you can get a whole bunch of notifications, too, which I pretty much have most notifications turned off because I find them to be annoying but other people find them useful. So Push Bullet has a ton of features. Uh, today, we're kind of zeroing in on the ability to move files back and forth. Um, and then Google Drive, of course, Dropbox. Um, really, there's probably a bunch more too. Box.com, Dropbox, Google Drive, uh, OneDrive, um, previously known as SkyDrive. Um, all these, these things allow you to store files in the cloud, and then you can access them on any device. Um, so I use Google Drive a lot. Of course, I don't really use Dropbox, but I know a lot of people do. Um, and there are Android and iPhone apps for those. So um, those are good ways to um, to move files. You know, Google Drive, it's just um, cloud storage. You know, here's all my, all my stuff. It's loading. There it is. Um, if I access this on my phone, I see the same thing. So if there's something on my Chromebook um, and I want to put it on my phone, it's pretty easy because uh, the Chromebook integrates Google Drive into the Files app. So here's Downloads, that's my local storage. I could grab this picture, move it over to Google Drive, into any one of these folders, hop on over to my phone, and there it is. And I can do it the other way around too. So it's a great way for sharing files. Um, as far as music specifically, there's a lot of different ways um, to listen to music on your Chromebook. Um, Pandora and Spotify, of course, you're not going to really be moving music files back and forth with uh, Pandora or Spotify, um, but those are just ways of listening to music, um, and they sync, you know, between the Chromebook, which is really just a website, and your phone. So whatever playlist you have on your phone, you'll see them on your Chromebook and vice versa. Um, Google Play Music, however, um, that is a method that you could use to actually move music files. So if you have MP3s, on your Chromebook, uh, you can upload them to Google Music, and then you'd be able to access those on your phone. Um, so there's a there's a small sort of caveat to that. Um, the ability to upload music on a Chromebook is not yet available for Chromebooks that are powered by ARM processors. So that includes, but is not limited to, this list of Chromebooks right here: the Samsung Series Three. Uh, that was a, that was marketed as simply the Samsung Chromebook, 
um, the HP 11, uh, the Samsung Chromebook 2s, the 11-inch the, um, and 13-inch, I think, is what the, the sizes they came in. Those run off of Samsung's Exynos, Exynos, who knows, uh, ARM chips. The Acer Chromebook 13, the, there is a model HP 14. The first model was the HP 14 Pavilion Chromebook. That ran on Intel, I believe. The second model was the HP Chromebook 14. That ran on Intel. The third HP Chromebook 14 runs on ARM. Um, and there are others, I believe, that, that aren't on this list. Uh, I believe there's a Toshiba that runs. Um, actually, that I think that runs on Baytrail, so never mind. But uh, just, just know if, if your Chromebook runs on an ARM processor, um, it's, you actually won't be able to upload music to Google Music. Um, so just something to keep in mind. If you're thinking about buying a Chromebook and you think that's an important feature, make sure you look for something that says, um, you know, Intel, Haswell, Baytrail, um, these things, those, those Chromebooks will be able to upload music. Anything that says ARM or Tegra K1 or Exynos, those are ARM chips that, that uh, you will not be able to use to upload music to Google Play. So, um, and of course there are Google Play um, music apps for the Chromebook, um, Android and iPhone. Uh, movies, um, Chromebook does support uh, quite a few different file types. Um, so if you have the files on a hard drive or something, you can plug it in just like I showed you a minute ago and you should be able to play all these different types of, of file extensions. Um, and uh, there's also Netflix, of course. Um, there's also, not on this list, but uh, Amazon. Um, you can watch Amazon instant video movies on your Chromebook. Um, but uh, Google Play Movies, of course, um, is something that you can, uh, you can actually download a movie that you've purchased on Google Play. You can download it to your Chromebook and then watch it later offline if you want to. So if you're you know, going to be on a plane trip or something, um, go ahead and download a movie beforehand, open your Chromebook up on the plane, and uh, watch a movie without needing to connect to the Internet. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's basically all I have for file transfer, file sharing. Um, it, uh, like I said, hopefully we'll be able to, to move files from the Chromebook to the phone I, uh, with the USB cable. Um, but uh, I feel that uh, Push Bullet and AirDroid and, and Google Drive, I think these are um, really just as easy, if not even a little bit easier, actually, than plugging in a, um, a USB cable. So uh, check those out, and uh, thanks for watching.